All right, what's up guys? <clears throat> um, today I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm not gonna go through too many of the specifics. This is uh, how you unbrick uh, LG Motion 4G. Uh, you can't really see that too well, but it does say download mode. There we go. Um, I've already made the KDZ file on my computer, the software update file. What I'm going to do is try to get that uploaded so you don't have to do that step. You don't have to um, convert the software update to a KDZ. I'll just upload the KDZ somewhere <clears throat> to like a file share and you can just download that. And you're going to have to install LG drivers. That link will be in the description. And uh, you'll have to install another uh, XML core pack that, um, that'll also be in the description. And then you'll open up the, uh, the program that we're going to be using on brick. It's going to look like this. You want to make sure that it's on CDMA and emergency. And it says MS770110C. That's going to be, um, that's the KDZ file. This is a version C firmware for the LG Motion 4G. And you're going to hit launch software update at that point. And then it will do its thing. This is a relatively long process. So I'm probably going to stop the video in a moment and then I will pick it back up um, later in the process. But this will fix boot loops, soft bricks. Um, I'm not sure about, um, I mean every situation is different, but this, um, I just want to get off of, I bet, CM10 installed on my phone for a while, and the GPS is broken, and I kind of want my GPS back, so I'm installing version C of the stock firmware. So, that's what this, I figured I would record the process anyway. Um, I will pick this back up when it gets a little bit further through the process. Now I wanted to get a little bit of video of uh, what it looks like while it's going through the process. <clears throat> it might get stuck at um, unpacking KDZ for quite a while. Just leave it alone and it will uh, figure itself out. And you're basically going to get a line per percentage more or less. So this has a ways to go and it will continue to do its thing and as you can see it's at you know 29 right now I will turn the camera back on when it gets a bit closer to finishing up alright right around 80 percent your phone's gonna reboot and you're gonna get stuck in what seems like a boot loop you can see my phone and we'll just keep rebooting it's totally normal it's still going up 90 percent see it's doing the boot animation over and over again let me try and show you guys this boot animation Every time I take the camera off the phone, it does the boot animation. There it goes. <clears throat> it's still doing its thing. I'm going to show you what to do if you get stuck in this boot loop. You have to do a hard reset on the phone itself. And uh, I will show you how to do that. Lost the screen here, hold on. There we go.
All right, and I'll be back in a second. All right, just wanted to show you guys. Um, I had to do a hard reset on the son of a bitch to get it back on after that process completed. Um, but I was able to get it to work. Uh, if if your phone gets stuck in that boot loop, once it reaches a hundred percent, I'm gonna show you right here. It'll say right params 100, blah blah blah. It will um, it will let you. You just have to um, <clears throat> yank the battery out, put the battery back in, and then uh, once you do that, once you put your battery back in. Um, Oh, nice. I have all my contacts and everything. Once you put your battery back in, you want to, uh, you want to hold volume, you want to hold power and volume down until the phone vibrates. And then once, it, as soon as you feel it vibrate, let go of power down and start pressing home and back, these two, home and back, really, really quickly. It's, it's a timing thing. It might take you a couple tries, but, uh, it does work so that is that and that's it um, I will oh, it's gonna take me so long to get this thing to look how I want it I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna show you my um, firmware version see it right there MS 770C C version Rev 1 Android 4.0.4 <clears throat> it sucked I loved having Jelly Bean on my phone I loved having the CM10 it was so nice but uh, I need my GPS I need it so I had to go back to stock uh, now I'm going to make a quick video on how to root this bitch and get rid of all that stupid bloatware. So uh, check out the next video too, guys. Uh, anybody needs help with a factory, the hard factory reset, just let me know. Sworn Leader signing out.